So our kennels here with our puppy bear. <coughs> I have a longer, light, very light string attached to the dog, um, just to limit the options, especially if he makes a mistake that he cannot escape the electric collar in any way else. But I want him to. I'm practicing here to for him to do behaviors on a signal that he knows no matter what he's looking at no matter how he en how engaged he is with me he uh, actually I want the dog not to be engaged and respond in the correct way to the signal given because he cannot say oh I didn't hear the signal he does hear it and my goal is to have a dog respond to the signal no matter what he's looking at or what he's interested in or distracted by he has to respond when he hears the signal so here I'm practicing a little <coughs> distractions from myself or not distractions but things that we usually do in normal life for example we are getting up from a sitting position and the dog wants to get up as well I want to be able to have the dog remain in the position no matter what I'm doing and where I'm going so I'm showing him here with the negative verbal marker that he should not leave the behavior unless I release him with the free command. Sit. Good. Super. Good boy. I'm using Good the boy. electric collar Down. on a very, very oh. low level. Yes. Just a level yes. that might be felt. Yeah. But it's not Sit. shocking. Oh, super. Good boy. I combine Three. it <coughs> sometimes with mechanics applied with the leash yeah. just to make sure that the electric stimulation which is a strange oh. sensation goes or is understood to respond Down. in the correct way. Excellent. Super. Good boys. Sit. Oh, that was so good. Good boy. Good boy. As you realize, I always give immediate feedback, which is really important. I give a negative marker for a mistake, and I also immediately Stand. praise as soon as the dog either decides not to make the mistake or is getting Good back into boy. the behavior yeah. after a mistake. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. He's there. Good. Good. Yeah. Good boy. Free. Without any help from me, he performed the correct behavior, but he decided to break it up without being invited to do so. So the stimulation with the electric collar was applied as soon as he broke up the behavior, and of course my string attached made it easy to make the right choice to turn off the electric collar. So here he anticipates me doing it again and I just prevent him from doing it. I want him to forget about it and then do it when I say the word. Here I moved quickly around him, in front of him and he took that as an invitation to break up the behavior again 
I show him with the electric collar and with my leash combined perhaps that it's the wrong thing to do. Here I examine his ears and his teeth. That's why I'm teaching the dogs to be locked in onto an obstacle, a target object so to speak with his front feet because it makes it so easy to groom or clean ears or check out the whole dog if you wish.